guys welcome back to jar 77 gaming today's gonna be a bit of a different video that I normally bring to the channel I've gotten a few requests for some of my viewers on how I record my ps4 gameplay without a capture card or a computer now the method that I use is the same to record all my gameplay from my iOS devices on my mobile games that you guys uh, see on my channel but today I'll bring you a how-to video on my PS4 method. Now, I know there's a ton of YouTube videos out there that show you how to do this. But, frankly, some of them are kind of silly. Uh, one of them involves filming your TV screen with your phone or camera. One was even holding up a Lego with your phone. So, I mean, that's it's kind of silly I mean it, it's it's an alternative but it's just kind of silly but if you're looking to offer a professional look for those wanting to start up a YouTube gaming channel and make it look like a pro well no worries I got you covered I'll show you guys how to do that today so that you'll end up getting good content out and looking like a pro without having to spend thousands of dollars doing it so before we begin, there's a few things we'll need. First, you'll need an iOS device running on iOS 8 or later, iPad, iPhone, or iPad Touch. For this video, we're going to be using my iPad Pro. Second, you'll need two apps. One is a third-party app that Apple does not carry in the App Store. It is a third-party app that does get revoked from Apple but the developers of this app actually continuously maintain it so that you can never lose the the app itself and you'll always be able to use it the second is a paid app that is actually found in the app store so the first pad for, i'm sorry the first app uh, of the third party app is called video this app records your ios screen using the airplay mode on your ios device now, for the sake of time, I'll leave a how-to video from Dino Sambas 2 in the description box. So I'll leave that link in there showing you guys how to install this app and get it to work on your iOS device running on iOS 8 and above. So click on his link, watch the video, and learn how to install this app um, so that you can record your gameplay. The second app is called PlayMira, and it's by the developers of Bitwise Solution Limited. It's actually, like I said, a paid app that'll cost you $9.99 US dollars. Now, the cost varies in different regions, but guys, it is well worth it. And wait till I show you guys why it's worth it for those $10 for that YouTuber that wants to start up a gaming channel on a budget. As you know, the PS4 only offers remote play to the PSP Vita. Now, Sony to Sony. So why Sony didn't develop this app, I don't know. But guys, it is well worth it. The app streams your PS4 games to your iPhone, iPad, or iPad Touch. So you can enjoy your PS4 games remotely. Whether you're in another room away from your TV or away from your home over the internet. That is insane, guys. I can actually remotely play my games on my iOS device. Now, today I'm going to show you how to do it with just your Wi-Fi network uh, at home. Um, and mine is going to be particularly on my home network, which is running on 5 gigahertz connection. Now, the developers of this app recommend a good internet connection or making sure that your PS4 is connected to the line cable to your router, your internet router. For this uh, tutorial, we're actually going to be using my Wi-Fi at 5 GHz connection. Okay, so let's start off by showing you what these apps look like so that you download the correct ones. I'm going to put them up on the screen right now, and here they are. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's begin this tutorial with the PlayStation Mirror app. And today I'm going to be using a fake online ID just to demonstrate to you guys how the process is done. So I'm going to show you guys really quick. 
how to do that process and let's get to it. So once the app is installed, you're going to hit the question mark at the bottom of the right hand side corner of the screen. Once you do that, you're going to hit initial setup and that'll give you the instructions on how to set up your PS4 to remote play on your iOS device. So I'm going to give you a quick visual guide on how to do it. Now before I show you guys how to do this, very important to point that you must have your iOS device and Play Mira running on and connected on the same network as your PS4. For most people, this means that your iOS device will be connected to their home network via Wi-Fi and the PS4 connected to the same network via a LAN cable. You must be signed into your PS account and your PS4. You need to obtain your online ID corresponding to this account as it's going to be required. This is different than your email address that you use to sign into your PlayStation Network. So make sure you get that online ID before you begin the process that I'm about to show you. So let's begin the first step on our PS4. On your PS4, navigate to Settings. Now go all the way to the remote play connection settings. So click that. Make sure it's toggled on. And then select add device. You'll be presented with an eight digit number. Now the eight digit number I'm going to be using today is 99999. But Normally, when you connect to that, it'll give you an actual eight-digit number so you can actually pair your Play Mira with your iOS device. So once you click that, um, you'll get that eight-digit number. Now let's go to our iOS device. Launch Play Mira on your iOS device, then hit the Settings button. Hit Register New PS4. You're going to be presented with two fields. One is basically entering your online ID. The next one is the eight digit registration number that you get from your PS4 as we saw in the previous step. Now our online ID for this example uh, will be using Play Mira. And for our eight digit code we'll be using 9999. Now after you're done then you press the register in at the top right of the corner. After you do this, you should receive a message confirming that the PS4 is now registered. And now, now you'll be able to remotely play on your PS4. Now, if you did all the steps correctly on the tutorial, all you have to do is hit that play button. And this is how it looks when it connects to your PS4 from your iPad. As you can see, I am remotely connected to my iPad from my PS4 so I can enjoy this game in my living room without having to have my PS4 next to me. So really quick, let's show you a quick demo how it looks from the TV to the iPad. Alright guys, here's a quick demo. As you can tell, I'm playing on my iPad Pro as it is remotely simultaneously playing with my TV and I'm using a made for iPhone remote control so as you can tell that's my iPad Pro and then that's my TV right there so the method that we just went over actually works so what we're gonna do right now is actually launch Transformers Devastation to show you that it's now playing on my iPad Pro so there you go folks it actually works what we just went through to show you how to remotely play on your Play S4 and iOS device. All right guys, now that we know how to make sure our PS4 and our iOS device remotely sync, now the fun part comes in. How we record our gameplay so that we can uh, share these videos with our friends on Facebook or the YouTube community. I'm going to show you guys how to quickly do that. Now, if you guys clicked in the description link 
showing you how to do it in the tutorial video from the YouTuber Dino Sambas 2, then you're all ready to start recording. But for those that didn't click on it, let me just give you a quick refresher course. Very simple on how to do it, on how to start your recording and how to end your recording. So let's go back to our iOS device and show you how to start this process. Oh, before I forget, in case you're wondering, there's a little app right there called Share Factory. That app allows you to actually save your gameplay because within PS4 you can actually capture your gameplay and save it and then edit on Share Factory. The only problem with that is that you can't put your outros or your intros so it makes it kind of hard to give that quality content that you want to share on social media or YouTube. So this is why I'm making this video so that you can have an alternative so that you can use your other editing tools like uh, iMovie or Pinnacle Pro and still deliver that professional look that you're looking for if you're beginning a YouTube uh, gaming video or just sharing quality videos with your friends and family on social media. So let's get to it. Let's go back into our iOS device and show you guys how to simply record on the video app. So you're going to go to your settings button. Once you click on the settings button, you're going to scroll all the way down to profile and device management, hit enterprise app, you're going to verify the app and trust it so that it can operate on your iOS device. You're going to be doing this continuously because this app does get revoked by Apple, but don't worry, it's always updated by the developers of this app. So don't worry, you'll always be able to record with this app. So once you do that, you'll be on your way. So let's go back and show you how to actually end and record your videos once you do this process. So you're going to launch your control center. You're going to hit uh, the video iPad so it can remotely launch the application. You're going to hit device audio. Then you're going to hit device screen. Device screen is so that you don't capture the external portion of the audio. Everything's going to be internal so you don't get none of that uh, background uh, noise. Then you're going to have your device resolution and your frames per second. So I keep mine at 1080p and 60 frames per second for the best quality on my videos when I record my mobile gaming and my PS4 uh, gaming with this app. Now when you finish recording your video you're gonna go back to the control center and you're basically going to end the recording by hitting the turn off air mirroring and then you're going to get a message that says recording stop with another message with another message allowing you to save the video to your camera roll this will allow you to edit the video later on on your editing tools within your iOS device like iMovie or uh, Pinnacle Pro so these are some of the steps that I do when I record all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new and i hope you keep on gaming and recording your screen so that you can bring some great stuff to the youtube community if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up give it a like share it subscribe to my channel if you are already a subscriber put your post notifications so you never miss a video and i will catch you guys on the next video on Jar 77 Gaming. Have a good one, guys.